I'm Dr. Mike Hyatt, one of the veterinarians at Wildlife Conservation Society's New York Aquarium, and I'm one of the science team members out here on OSEARCH. And as part of the science team, we're collecting a lot of different samples from these white sharks once we get them onto the lift. And one of the most important samples that we collect is the blood. It's over a third of the projects that are involved with this. And the way we do that is with a needle and syringe, and we use the the peduncle that's right by the tail, and that's the easiest access to a vein that runs right along under the spine. It's called the ventral coccygeal vein. And so once we get it in through the puncture, and then we can draw back the blood, but because we are collecting such a large volume of blood, we're around like 24 mils or so, we need to switch out syringes, and that can become cumbersome. A lot of people like to use an extension onto this so it gives you a little bit of leeway so you don't accidentally dislodge the needle from the vein. And the blood samples that we collect are going to be utilized for looking at the general health of the shark. So we're looking at complete blood counts and their chemistries similar to what a veterinarian would use to look at your dog or cat or what your own physician would use to determine if you're healthy.